Infinity Ward hasn't done much to reveal its next Call of Duty title, aside from confirming some kind of presentation at Sony's E3 presser. But clues have been emerging. Rumors indicated that it would be Call of Duty Ghosts 2, but industry insider Shinobi602 had other thoughts on the same. Speaking on NeoGAF, the man revealed that the next Call of Duty would be set in the far future. When asked if it was similar to Battlefield 2142, the reply was, very far future, space combat, full-on sci-fi. The report was confirmed independently by Eurogamer when it revealed that the space combat would take place between warring sci-fi groups. Furthermore, the insider revealed that the game will be set around Earth, but it will reach other locations too. There will also be a central hub in the form of a space station. BioWare's Mass Effect Andromeda still doesn't have a ton of information surrounding its premise, with only a few leaks hinting at humanity's struggle in a new galaxy and the Pathfinder as a new character. However, a marketing survey has been making the rounds via NeoGAF that revealed a few interesting details about the world and overall premise. According to the survey's slides, the game takes place in the Andromeda Galaxy, far beyond the Milky Way, where players will lead the fight for a new home in history territory, where we are the aliens, opposed by a deadly indigenous race bent on stopping us. The game will also include a planet-dense but seamless open-world galaxy rich with discovery that players are free to explore with deep progression and customization systems, and their decisions will ultimately determine our survival in the Andromeda Galaxy. Square Enix confirmed the release date of Final Fantasy XV. It will be out on September 30th for Xbox One and PS4. An interesting standalone Platinum demo was released today for both platforms. Weighing 4.5 gigabytes, it features a young Noctis along with the ability to drive the car and engage in combat. Interestingly, this is standalone content separate from the main game and will unlock free DLC for Final Fantasy XV. A NeoGAF user Osiris Black has posted possible new information about PS4.5 or PS4K or whatever it's going to be called. According to Gamatsu, the following information was revealed. Price and trade-ins. The price is currently $399. There were discussions about including a better CPU which would raise the price to $499, a price that is guaranteed to be the maximum amount one might have to pay for the upgraded console. There are currently no plans for a trade-in program for PlayStation 4 owners, but that could change. GPU and Blu-ray player. The GPU is twice as powerful as the current PlayStation 4 and much faster. It runs at higher clock speed and is much smaller than the original. It will have a 4K Blu-ray player and upscale games that are not 4K native. This is not to say that newer games will run 4K native. Media player application. There is talk of a VR lounge for the media player application, which will be getting a substantial upgrade. Dev kits and existing games. Developers already have development kits for the new PlayStation 4 and are making games that will directly target and take advantage of its higher specs. These games will work on the current PlayStation 4, but with considerable sacrifices made to performance. Current games will not receive any performance upgrades by being played on the newer system. Any upgrades that come would do so via game-specific patches released by developers. When asked if this was going to happen, the response was, it's a possibility, but doubtful with the exception of a handful of games. When there is smoke, there is fire, and where the PlayStation 4K, colloquially being referred to as the PlayStation 4.5 is concerned, there sure seems to be a lot of smoke. More and more reports are emerging that Sony is indeed planning a mid-cycle refresh of the PlayStation 4 hardware. This is going to go beyond just the regular mid-cycle slim release that most consoles usually get. Instead, this is going to be a spec bump that will evolve and iterate on the current PlayStation 4 hardware, not unlike the new Nintendo 3DS to the original Nintendo 3DS. A new report from the Wall Street Journal is corroborating the multiple reports that have broken out regarding the PlayStation 4K, pointing out that a hardware refresh is indeed in the works. The new hardware is expected to launch by October worldwide, ahead of the PlayStation VR launch, and will output games at ultra-high definition resolutions. The Wall Street Journal has an extraordinary track record with its reports, so their word can be practically treated as a confirmation at this point. 
If the PlayStation 4K is real, and all evidence is increasingly indicating that it is, then Sony may take the stage at E3 this year and announce it then. We hope you've enjoyed this video, so please consider subscribing to our channel. We do original content, reviews, graphics comparison, and much more, and try to upload a video every day. Thank you very much for checking us out.